Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to show you how you can wirelessly transfer files from your Android phone over to your MacBook. So today we'll be using a free app that I came across a few months ago and I had actually been using this solution um, for a few months and I really came to love it. But recently I've moved over to using an iPhone. So now I'm just using AirDrop, but this app is pretty much AirDrop for Android. So first thing you wanna do is get your Android phone and go to the Play Store. And you wanna search for an app called Blip File Transfer. And then once you've found that, you wanna install it to your phone. And then once you've installed it, it's gonna ask for an email address to sign up. It's all free. And then once you've signed up, you'll have a screen just like this. And then the next thing you'll need to do is go over to your MacBook and open up a web browser and on your web browser you want to go to blip.net and I'll leave all this linked in the description below and then once you're on this website you can just come across to download so to install it you just want to come across to this download button here and install it on your Mac but it is also available on Windows and Linux um, upon a request so I've already downloaded it but you'll just click download and then once you've signed in with that same email address and then you come across to the launch pad and you can see I have Blip right here. And it will also put Blip up here. So you can see this B is their icon. And if you click on that, it's gonna bring a little drop down menu. So once you've installed it on your phone, you should see your phone up here on your MacBook. And then down here on my phone, so you can see here I have my MacBook there. So I can send things from my phone to my MacBook. And if I wanna send things from my MacBook to my phone, I can see my phone is right here. If you come across to the settings, there's a little settings cog up the top and you can go settings. So these are just a few settings you can go through. You can launch at logon. So I like to always have it launched so it's I don't have to open the app each time I turn my computer on. It's already running in the background. And then you can also just pick where you want your files to save to and then you can come through and you can add and remove devices. So you can have multiple devices on here, which is really good. So we can click out of that. So to transfer the files, I'm just gonna click on Sam's MacBook cause that's where I wanna transfer them to. And then you have these options to transfer photos and videos, files, you can take and send a new photo or send audio files. So I wanna do photo and video and then this will open up your photo gallery and I want this one and this one. And then I'm just gonna click add to and you can see it pops up straight away on my map. And then over here, you have the option just to open the photos up straight away or I like to show in finder. And you can see it's in my desktop folder and the two images are here straight away. So it's super quick, especially for photos. Obviously the more files you send and the larger that they are, it's gonna be a bit slower. So like if you're gonna send a 10 minute video file, it's obviously gonna be a bit slower because it's actually using your internet connection. The really cool thing with Blip, it's actually just sending the file directly to the device. It's not getting uploaded to the cloud and then having to download the file. It's just a direct transfer from your phone to your MacBook or your MacBook to your phone. There's no uploading and downloading. So that's also why it's really quick. So I'll try to find a bigger video file to send so I can show you sort of how long that's gonna take. Okay, so here I have a three minute video and if we go up to details, we can see that it's filmed in 4K, so Ultra HD, and it's 458 megabytes. So we'll open up Blip and we will go to Sam's MacBook, because that's where we want to send it. And we'll go to Files, and we can see the video here that I want to send. And you can see it's popped up straight away on the Mac. And it's transferring pretty quick. And it's completed. So that's how long it takes to send a 4K video that's 30 seconds long. And over here, we're on the iPhone and we're going to airdrop the same video. So you can see it's popped up on the MacBook now and it's transferring. 
and it's done. So you can see they're about the same. I'd say the airdrop is slightly quicker, but I think this is a great alternative for anyone who uses an Android phone for transferring files really easily. I think if you're working with high resolution, large video files, you might find that this is a little bit too slow unless you're happy just to let it load in the background and you can wait around for it. If you do want something a little bit faster, I would recommend using an external SSD and plugging that into your Android phone to transfer bulk files quickly. I've actually done a video on how to do that. If you want to check that out, I'll leave that link below. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.